This is the free motion quilting tutorial for topographic map. This design is a foundational design and it starts with a curvy wavy line and you can occasionally kind of come up and create this kind of bubble shape. You're going for that effect of topographic maps, how they show the gradient and um, topography of an area and they usually have it kind of spaced out so that certain areas like mountain peaks are the tallest area. So you're creating kind of that wiggly fluid texture where you create these bubbles where hills are. And they can be any size and any shape you want. They can be anything you want. It's really a lot of fun to just kind of play and allow yourself to form an entirely freeform design. And so the entire point of the beginning is to create your foundation. So I'm just simply stitching throughout my quilting space, creating these kind of bubble shapes, while at the same time I'm trying to leave space between those lines of quilting so that I don't work myself into a corner. So I'm not trapped anywhere inside this texture. I want to be able to stitch inside of it and work my way around to be able to fill it in. So now let's start the second part of the texture and the design and that is echoing. All I'm going to do is simply travel stitch within these lines, staying a consistent distance away. I'm staying about an eighth of an inch away from those lines of quilting, but of course you could stitch this wider. You could definitely widen this entire design out and stitch an inch away or two inches away and then it would work on a bed quilt. Here you can see I'm working my way around this outer edge. Typically with foundational designs you'll kind of have an inner area and an outer area where your line ran. And so now I'm working kind of on the, in, the outer area. Just again carefully trying to echo that initial foundational line. I'm not going inside of those topographic bubbles, I'm leaving them open so that they create noticeable spaces within the texture. I think that's definitely going to add to the design so it actually creates these open gaps and that is going to create spaces for your eye to catch. In the echoes you can also create bubbles and spaces for your eye to catch. You can see I just left that space open right there. That's perfectly fine. It's really fun to just experiment with this design and allow it to be very freeform. This was one of the very first foundational designs I ever stitched. And other designs that you might want to look into are desert sand and ocean current because they work very similarly. So now I'm stitching down and around. I'm just going to fill in these weird areas. And the best way to do that is to use the edges of your quilting space to travel along the side just like that and then fill in those spaces. Travel back and swing out. Just keeping those echoes and those lines of stitching consistent so that way the open spaces, the bubbles, are very noticeable because the filled areas, the areas of lots of echo stitching, are so consistent. And here's what it looks like whenever you finish topographic map. Find over 300 videos on free motion quilting, many new designs that you can use on your quilts at freemotionproject.com.